Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm going to show you how to make faux alcohol inks with acrylic paint and watercolor paint. Um, so this has been requested for a lot of, from a lot of you because you don't have alcohol ink and I totally get it. So we're going to do a faux version. This is a piece of mixed media paper just that I pulled out of a tablet and I give it a mist and make it a bit wet. I have my alcohol. This is 91%, but you can use 70% that you get and my dropper ready. This is metallic paint because I was asked to show it in metallic. This is metallic amethyst that ran into my yellow, which is, these are so hard to read. I'm so old. Moon yellow, which you can see purple gun in there, but it doesn't matter. And this is red for my Kurataki uh, watercolor. I don't know exactly know the right color. And this is just a little palette. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to wet it. And you want water. Water is your friend. So I'm going into this purple, which looks blue on camera, which is bizarre. I don't get it, but, and I'm going to do this. And if your paper, when you do it, is a little dry, let's see if I can do this in a way here and move in a minute. If your paper is a bit dry when you put it on, just add more water because that's what you want. You want that watery. Are you all see? Okay. You can gesso if you want. You don't have to, but there's that. And then I'm going to real quick clean. And I'm going to grab some of the yellow. I'm going to do that as well. Now, once you get those acrylics, give them a little squirt of water to leave it sit there. Now, excuse me. I know I got to move it. I get too excited. Okay. This is a Bic marker, <laughs> a permanent Bic marker that I just put with some water and you can see it's very light because it's pink. And we're going to put that there and that does absolutely nothing. I was asked, asked to do that and um, that doesn't do anything. Maybe it's because the light color. I don't know. And then this is watercolor. We'll just go right here, which is gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. As you can see, and I want them to kind of connect. So I don't have to, but. So then I'm going to take a little bit more water and give it a squirt. Because we all love a little squirt now and then. And then I'm going to take my dripper dropper and I'm going into my alcohol and I'm going to drip and drop and you know, you could be as controlled as you want, but look at that. 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 Let's try this alcohol uh, bic over there. Oh, it lifts it a little bit, but look now this is, you know, this dropper isn't as controlled as you can get some that are a little smaller or what have you. And look at that. And that is faux alcohol ink. Now, let me tell you, let's see if I can get my light. Let's do it that way and see if that helps. Um, you leave this dry and it can become a background. And you can see how cool, you know, you can see some of the yellow. It's going to be a little drippy droppy, but that's okay. I just want, look at that. Now I've done other videos where I've used uh, Crayola markers and done this um, and I will link it uh, up above or down below for you to go check it out. But this is really fun. Just leave it dry. Do not blow it with your, uh, if you, if you blow it with your heat gun, what's going to happen is you see it moving and you don't necessarily, unless you want that, I like just to leave it for a second. You know, it'll take about five minutes to dry. No big deal. And then what you can do because acrylic paint. Now this is watercolor, obviously, but because the acrylic paint dries, uh, permanent, you can go back in with other colors or more, you know, of the metallic and kind of maybe add more where you want it. You can see mixing. It gives you a little bit of a, uh, you know, a little bit of a, a color change, almost brown. And then just take a little bit. Look at that. So you can definitely build up as you go. Yep. 
this is great a great 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 atc background which i will be doing this as an atc background coming up if i didn't already put it up um but it's it's very easy very simple and you can do it with stuff that you have at home to get that faux look why not try it it is fun um if you do let me know tag me on facebook and uh, instagram and everywhere because um, I love seeing what you guys do, and I will even add you in a video of mine. I have quite a few people that I'm going to be adding at the end of a video coming up, um, showing their work that they've done, their odd girls, and drawing, and all kinds of fun stuff, and I would love to see what you guys do. Um, yeah, so this is really, really fun and exciting. I love you guys, and as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. You never, never know. Try to be kind. I know it's hard. Um, but especially with everything going over that went on over in Manchester, awful, awful, awful. And I can't even imagine being a parent and worrying about your child that way, let alone everybody else who was affected. So my love and heart goes out to all of them. I know that means nothing, but ugh, it drives me nuts. I wish there was things that we could do to help this whole terrorist thing. But anyway, that's a whole other video. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.